Jared Hoyman with VisibleTour.com and welcome to 360 Thursday. We are gonna do something called photogrammetry today. I am going to take the GH5, uh, the Zion Crane gimbal for steadiness. I have the Lawa 7.5 millimeter on there right now set to f4 and the 7.5 is like a 15 millimeter equivalent on a full frame which is super ultra wide and we are going to do a 3d model of the backyard in all its horrible springtime glory so we are going to go all the way around to give you an idea of what photogrammetry is it is taking images and bringing them and stitching them into a 3d model and uh, I would say stitching isn't the right term because it doesn't really stitch. It takes points of it, establishes a cloud, a mesh, and, and then uses the skin, the photo part to overlay on it. You can bring it into 3D modeling um, at that point. And so a good friend of mine who lives about three blocks that way, I'll actually put the link below, Creative Edge Productions, which is the Next Wave DV, and that is Tony Reale, got me into this a couple of years ago. Uh, I went out and purchased software for it. For $179, you can get software called Photoscan by Agisoft. Not Vagisoft, trust me, I've said it wrong before. Agisoft, which is probably not the best marketing name, but they haven't hired me for marketing, so maybe that's why they're called Agi soft. So anyways, this software, it's $179 for the standard, $3,500 for the professional, and there's not a huge difference. There's slight things that would benefit you for the professional, but for what we're gonna do today, for $179, it's actually pretty awesome. And then to give you an idea, I'm gonna bring you, we're gonna go around, we're gonna take a video. So right now, um, if you look on the screen, I did a 3D model a couple years ago of this giraffe. And I went around and I took about 80 to 100 photos with my Canon 6D um, at 20 megapixels raw. And I put them in to Agisoft. I want to say Vagisoft so bad. Agisoft's photo scan software. And I created this right here. I also went to a cemetery, which can be a little bit creepy but went to the cemetery, brought my camera because you know there's a lot of people that bring their camera to the cemetery. And I went around this statue because I just thought it was awesome. It's about six feet tall, went around it, took about two to 300 photos, raw, 20 megapixel, um, edited them all the same, put them in this software, and an hour or two later came up with this awesome 3d model of it which is very detailed and, and beautiful um, but it takes the time i mean it takes time to go around and take photos uh, to make sure everything looks the way it needs to look and for 3d modeling if you're looking at an object it's best to have and by the way i shot that on the 24 to 105 f4 uh, canon lens it's best to have a shallow depth of field because your subject is in focus, the rest isn't, and it really grabs the detail and it's easy to create that. Now, what I'm gonna to try today is to have a higher F number, have more in focus. It's gonna take some horsepower on my computer to create, um, and it might not turn out the best, but I'd like to give it a whirl and do a space. That being said, we are going to be doing this. I'm going to come up to it. It is on the Zion crane. I'm going to take it off of the release plate here. And I am going to tilt it out. So in order to do a space, we are going to walk around it. And it is going to gather all the frames. Ooh, there's dog poop out here. Beautiful. Watch my step. And by the way, I am shooting this in 4K at 30 frames per second. And when I bring it into Premiere Pro after this, I am going to, here we'll do a little back there. There's some dog crap on a pooper scooper. Let's see if it grabs that. 
Um, I am going to be grabbing frames, probably one frame for every second. And it, by the way, I chose today to do it on this crappy rainy day because bright light outside is very difficult to get um, because there's going to be some bright spots and dark spots here. It is like having a natural diffuser in the space. And so we're kind of going around in a circle. This is technically my second time of trying this. I tried it two years ago and it turned out okay. It wasn't that great. Um, but let's give this a whirl. So we are looking at the space here. I also am now going to just kind of back up and get the spaces here too. So it's not going to be a super detailed 3D model, but this will give you an idea. So I honestly don't know what it's going to look like. I've done drone and it looks good. Uh, this handheld and using video and not taking the photos and extracting it is kind of a new thing. So uh, this makes a weird selfie stick. It's kind of cool. Okay, we are in uh, Agisoft or Vagisoft, however you want to call it. Uh, Vagisoft photo scan. And right now I brought in all the photos um, to save time, it took about 15 minutes. Uh, the workflow I did was I went to align the photos. Then after I did that, and I chose to do it at a medium setting, you could do it at the highest, which takes forever. That's like practically a day. Uh, this takes maybe like a half hour on my computer. Again, uh, 16 cores, 32 threads uh, running on the Xeon processor. So it's pretty fast. Um, but for this purpose, I did it for medium, which probably took about eight minutes to render out. And it created this right here. You can kind of see, we'll zoom in. It's a little bitty cloud specs uh, connecting the points, showing the yard itself uh, based on the photos. So created that. The next step that you go to, which I already did as well, is build a dense cloud. And for the dense cloud, Ultra high uh, just would take too long. Uh, high is usually what I do. I did medium. High would probably take about an hour and 15, hour and a half. Uh, medium took about 15 minutes or less. And so I did that. And what that did is, we'll go, it built this. So it kind of gives more depth um, showing the yard and all. And so this is all based off of pictures, which is really cool. And you can see a little bit of the detail there. Then what you do after this is you create a mesh. And um, let me go over, so workflow, uh, mesh. And then the mesh, I put it as, I think I put it as medium. I don't think I did it as high. I might have done it as high, um, but then what, We'll cancel out of here and what that did is kind of i mean this is what you could put in a 3d scanner and print out now is using this mesh and again i did not take enough photos and get enough angles to make the detail great um like i did for the the other things like the sculpture in the cemetery and the uh stuffed animal giraffe. Uh, those were obviously more detailed, better looking than this. Uh, the next thing I did was I uh, created where to put the skin. So you go to workflow, that's the texture, and then it um, you can make the texture size bigger, but I did it 6,000, which is a 6,000 like megapixel. Uh, and that looks like, wait for it, there you go, that. And so now I kind of brought the photo in. Now it is warped here. There wasn't a lot of detail. What would do a really good job, and leave a comment if you want to see that instead, is if I flew my drone right overhead and I could do a circle, I would get a lot more detail, a lot more information, a better 3D object that way. 
Um, maybe I'll try that next time if you want to see it. If not, just let me know. Um, but here, let me try to manipulate the... Uh, Whoa, making you dizzy. Okay, so here's a perspective. And this is part of the tree, obviously, that it's it captured, but there's, uh, let me go in. Uh, so yeah, it, it doesn't look the greatest. Um, there's, there's deformity here, but this gives you an idea that you can use photos to create a 3D object, and it really doesn't take a lot, and this software is only $179. I mean, for what it does, that's pretty inexpensive, um, especially with what you could see from the giraffe and the six foot sculpture from the cemetery. I mean, that's great. I could replicate that. I could take that, um, have that printed, um, and it would look amazing. So, I mean, those, you take your time. This also is using video frames. There might have been some motion blur too. If it was if I was moving too fast and the shutter speed wasn't quick enough uh, so that's another factor using video but I think it did a pretty good job for what it is and um, yeah leave a comment below and let me know what you think and if you'd like me to try to do uh, a 3d object of something else that maybe a human face maybe I'll do my face or something whatever Anyways, if you have any questions on the software, uh, they did not contact me or talk to me about promoting it. Uh, I've never talked to them personally. I purchased this software on my own a couple of years ago and I just found it fun. Um, I haven't really made a business out of it, but there is. I mean, you could definitely do um, land surveying with it and 3D mapping land with drones and people do that. And that might be something I do down the line. So, okay, real quick, a year ago, uh, before I cut this tree down, I actually flew my old drone over and took some video and photos and put it through it. And it did create a better 3D model. There's a little bit more detail, um, less warping. Um, so from the aerial view, it actually does a really good job. I mean, there's obviously some flaws but uh, not too shabby of a layout so um, you can go that route uh, the backyard now you don't get the detail like you do there but you know what maybe it doesn't make a big difference if you just want to see an overall view curious do you like this better than what I showed you before I mean I personally like this better so let me know so, anywho, not horrible. I mean, it could use some improvement, but for $179 of the software, and everybody's got a camera, whether it's on your phone or on your phone. Everybody's got a phone with a smartphone with a camera. So, you could do this. You can create 3D models. If you like this video, if you want to see more uh, 3D modeling, maybe I'll do myself. That came out wrong. Maybe I'll take photos of myself to make myself a model. There you go. That came out better. So, please subscribe and see you soon. Ciao.